<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the Shear tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer Rory who'll show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we have some examples of what we're going to create with the help of the shear tool today. So to start using it, I first need to select an object. As you can see here, we've got a simple text design and this is all grouped together, although it doesn't necessarily need to be for the shear tool. However, it can be found over on the left hand side and it sits underneath the scale tool. So if I click and hold on the scale tool, you'll see it sits underneath here. I'm going to select it and we can start using this by simply clicking and dragging and you can see this will start to go a little bit crazy if I drag it in a certain way but we can start skewing this in different ways depending on how we move our mouse. I'm going to press command Z to undo. You'll also see that we have a small crosshair in the middle of this and this is the point at which we are skewing this from. So I can click and drag on this and move this around. I can also snap it to any lines or anchor points as well. So I'm going to take it down to the bottom left hand corner and depending on where I I click we are going to get slightly different results as well so for example I'm going to go up to the top line here and click and drag and if I hold shift I can lock this on this horizontal plane here and we can create a slightly cleaner effect so I'm essentially able to italicize this slightly or if I take it back we can move this back the way as well so in this example I'll move it forward and I can also click and drag up the way as well again holding shift is just going to lock it to this vertical plane in this case so that's our first example. Moving on to these boxes down here, we can create a slightly 3D looking effect with the help of this tool as well. So selecting this bottom rectangle, again, I'll click my shear tool, and this time I'm going to drag the crosshair to the top left hand anchor point. So we're skewing this shape from there. And in this case, I'm going to go to the bottom right hand anchor point and start clicking and dragging, again, holding shift to lock it to this plane. And I can use my smart guides to to align this to the right hand side of the rectangle on the right. Now I'm going to select that rectangle on the right and another way of using this tool is by double clicking on it. So if I do that you'll see we get a box popping up and we can enter some precise values in here as well. So I'm going to click my preview here and you can see depending on which axis we have selected it's going to change the way it's being skewed. So I'm going to switch to vertical in this case and I know that this is going to be a 45 degree angle that we are skewing this to however this is set to minus 45 so if I just change this to a positive 45 this is going to match the angle of our other rectangle so I'll click OK grab my selection tool and I just need to make sure that this is aligning properly which it is and what I can do now is click and drag over all of these objects that aren't grouped but I can still use the shear tool with them so I'll double click on this again and this time we'll use a horizontal skew so I can adjust this shear angle value and can get something slightly more interesting here and I'll click OK. And that's it for an overview of the Shear tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you're serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.